good morning to all this is vinayaga murthy from my das it today we will be seeing the webinar on code bridges now this is the file open new project and save the file and then uh, as we are familiar with the commands and the geometry commands uh, now instead of uh, making the geometry by using the graphical method i will be using the tables to that explain how to give the inputs the tables now now this is the tree menu tables structure structure table and node table i'm giving the name as 1 Un node number one coordinate is zero comma zero comma zero, and the second node is eleven meter. Y coordinate is two meter. Z is zero. Third coordinate is twenty two meter. Zero and zero. So this is the three nodes I am creating for the basic three nodes. Now we are seeing three nodes in the screen now. and this is the node number which is displaying on the nodes and then i am creating the property property for the material and the cross section material property i am defining now and first property is a concrete and name is concrete and european standard and i'm selecting 3345 and apply and one more property that is for a steel this is for the precessed cables i'm selecting one property giving the name as steel and click okay we have defined two material property now the section and we are going to create the box loader section so i'm selecting from psc type so is a psc n cell I'm giving the name as box girder, and number of cell is two. H is one point five. H two point three point two. H four point three point three. H eight meter, one point five meter, and B three is point three. Point two. Point two. Point three. Now this is the cross section and web thickness for shear and tarsal calculation and selecting by automatic and the offset is at the top offset and click OK. So we have defined the material property and section property. Now you can see the work over here. And now I am giving the time dependent material property. So I am changing the unit to newton millimeter. I am defining the time dependent material property for a creep and shrink case. And I'm giving the name as C and S as per European standard for 40 millimeter mm square. Community is 70 percentage. Notion size of member as per formula we have to calculate. So we are entering 1000 millimeter. Show calculation result. Now we are seeing the creep coefficient and shrinkage strain. And click OK. And next is the compressive strength factor. So do go to compressive strength, and I'm giving the name as compressive strength, short name compressive strength. And the code is European standard. Mean compressive strength is uh, 40 feet per mm square. And cement type is C, class N, and 0.25 is the factor. Read the graph. So this is the compressive strength variation based on the time. as per the european standard and click okay the two defined properties are done there is a creep and shrinkage in compressive strength factors now the material link so the material link means whenever we are calculating the creep and shrinkage in compressive strength with the, with this respect to the particular grade of concrete so this two parameters has to be connected with the concrete properties so concrete 
Click OK and add and close. So this is the one which we done, completed and now create the geometry now. Now we can change the unit to 200 meter. Now create element and next option is create, create line element on curve. Create line element on curve. This is the material, this is the cross section. I'm giving number of segment is 0.4 for every 0.5 meter the, se the segment will be uh, divided now. This is my first point, second point, and third point. Now this cross section is defined. Now I have to set the UCS to copy the boundary nodes over here. So go to structure, UCS with the three points. This is my origin point. This is my first point and second point. Apply. Now we are seeing the orientation of the UCS is parallel to the orientation of the bridge. Now we are going to copy this nodes. Translate. Copy. Copying this node in y direction. Two point six five meter in y direction, and one more time, it's negative two point six five, and apply. Now these two nodes we have to copy to the down. That is your move in the direction of minus one point five meter vertical. The down is a positive now because it's uh, oriented in opposite direction. Why? It is your 1.5 meter. It's copied down. Again, again, these two nodes. I'm copying 0.25 meter now. So this is copied now, now you can see, it's copied now. And again I have to set the system, that is the UCS on the right side. So select the origin point and reference point. So this is referred over there. Now again you have to copy this edge node. Two point six five and positive two point six five. Again, these two nodes has to be move in one point five meter. Now this time is a negative one point five meter. Again the copy node one more time I am copying minus 0.25 done. Now we have to connect the support node by using links. Next is the boundary. Define support and the left side I am giving pin support the attracting the bottom nodes over here and apply and similarly Bottom node here, I will remove the x direction, that is the axial direction. And next is a rigid link, is a rigid body connection. And this is the my reference node number. And these two are my slave nodes to connect the rigid body connection. Similarly, on the right side, I have to select the muscle node, is this one, muscle node number 3. And the slave nodes are 52 and 53 and click apply. 
And next is the elastic link. Again, selecting rigid, rigid type because I don't know the value of uh, the bearing. So the, the elastic link will be connected by two nodes. That is, it's often two nodes. I'm just clicking on the two nodes. Now you can see the boundary conditions over there. Supports elastic link and rigid link. I will switch off the header here. Now you are seeing your support structure is connected properly. Okay, fine. So the boundary condition is completed now. Now I have to create the loads. That is, first one is the static loads. Static load type. Load case name is dead load. Load type is dead load. And second is SIDL. And this is dead load of component and attachment. This can be a cross barrier or rearing code. Now here I am uh, considering is SIDL is a cross barrier load. So add and next is a pre load. Again your load type is pre -stress. Add. So this is three main static load cases and then for dynamic load I will be following as per the response spectrum uh, method and the moving load analysis. Now next is the we have to apply the load one by one that is first one is the self weight before applying the self weight before applying any load we are considering the design part so it is a PSC design so we have to provide the pre stress information whenever we are giving the pre stress information on the structure the software wants to calculate it then we have to do the construction stage analysis information because your pre stress loss calculation is based on the pre pension cage factors this will be happen only if you are entering the age of concrete then only these parameters will be considered so based on that we have to create a group for that Structure group, right click, I am giving the name as box girder, add, and then boundary, I am giving the two groups, one is supports and another one is links. Another one is links. So the both the things are created, support and links. Now, this entire structure is connected with the structure group. Now you can see the node 55, element 44 is uh, created now. And the support is, <coughs> and set is support nodes on both the sides so that it will be considered automatically just to drag and drop by itself. And similarly, the link, I have to select the node, what are the nodes which is associated with this link properties. That's the links now. And now the load, we have to create the load that is your search weight and SIDL and pre -stress. The three load cases we have created, so the same number of load group also we have to create. Now we will apply the load one by one, that is self weight. Load case name is self weight. Load group name is self weight. Z is vertical, so Z is minus one. Add and close. And next load case is element beam load, beam load, element. This is your SIDL, load group is SIDL and the SIDCity from the offset location because we have used offset command and your direction reference is has to be the local Y because your element, lo element local axis uh, is the reference for the load application as the structure is a code one so definitely the lo local Y and global Y is different so we have to select the appropriate, appropriate one, so this is your local Y. And your uh, width of the girder is 8 meters, so from the reference, from the center point, it will be 4 meters. 
and the loading information is minus 2.5 kN per meter because it's a line geometry. So select all and apply and one more time select all and your distance is negative 4 meter apply and close. Now we see the work you can see the load application. Now the load is applied on the curved structure node is applied on the curved structure and next is the pre stress. For applying the pre stress we have three inputs. First one is the tendon property and I am giving the name as tendon and it is the post tension type material. We have selected the material we have, which we have defined earlier. Now the total tendon area here we have the strand diameters and checking strand diameters and the number of strands. And duct diameter 90 millimeter and then uh, the relaxation coefficient as per the European standard for low relaxation. And the ultimate strength, yield strength, curvature friction, and simply everything will be considered as per the standard. Now we can click close now. Uh, next is the tendon profile and so I am giving the name as T1, the tendon 1. This is the property assigned element. We have to select all the numbers. It is 1, 2, 44 element numbers. Input type is 3D and the coordinates will be calculating from Excel sheet. Let's see, I am calculating the coordinates. This is cable number one. Now it's the three cables we have. So Y coordinates is, is applying on the central web and Z direction. So this three cable coordinates we have calculated. Now I'm just copying the first cable coordinates and then apply over here. Make symmetric your profile insertion point, the starting point number from element number one and apply. I can see the cable profile is generated. Now you can see the cable profile is generated. The same way, we will select, we will create the coordinates for second cable T2. This is the existing one, and copy paste the second coordinate.
and make some trick apply and then third cable remove the existing coordinate and copy the coordinate from the excel sheet one more time apply make some trick and apply we have created three cables now now if you want to copy the three cables to the outer web this is running on the central web now we have to apply on the outer web open remove equal distance 0 comma 2.5 total is uh, 8 meter 1 1.5 1 1.5 uh, 2.5 2.5 2.5 comma 0 0 currently assigned element or just with the tangent length now now you can see it's copied and copy one more time equal distance 0 comma minus 2.35 yeah. comma 0 currently assigned element and auto this with the element length now now it is copied to the outer web also totally we have 9 cables you can see those cables now yeah, actually there is one uh, correction over here when you contact when you are uh, copying this profile I am just do it undo I am just do it undo uh, first three cables only now we have before copying it we should set the UCS to the original position that is your global UCS now you are seeing your global UCS now uh, from here we have to copy your actual cable coordinates copy and move equal distance 0 comma 2.35 comma 0 currently assigned element and auto this with the element length and then length and click ok and one more time 0 comma minus 2.35 comma 0 currently assigned element and auto this with the element length now ok this is the way we have to do we have 9 cables now next is a trend and pre-stress go to trend and pre-stress select the load case name is pre-stress load group name is pre-stress now you can see select all the cables is where applied force is the force type we have two, two options you can apply as a stress type as well as force type it's a both in jacking if your value of the jacking force is in ton or any other unit you can change the unit at any time I'm applying 210 ton and grouting after one construction stage add and close ok and next is the moving load for giving the moving load go to moving load option select the code traffic lane add so for the moving load we have a three steps that is first you have to define the traffic line planes and then select the vehicle and moving road cases now I am giving the name as uh, lane 1 lane width is 3 and ethnicity is the distance between the center of the vehicle to the a reference element now I am giving the ethnicity is a 2 meter vehicle load distribution for the lane element if your structure is a grillage model then we have to select as a cross beams now now the moving load direction is both direction forward and backward and your selection option is we have three options if it is a straight line you can select directly select 
two points, first point, starting point and end point. Otherwise, you have to select the member one by one, otherwise uh, you have to type the element numbers. Okay, so it's a curve, curve member, so I'm directing by numbers. Is that all I can get to know the number? It's 1 to 44. So I can type it the number 1 to 44. And apply. It's created. Now the length to eccentricity is minus 2. Removing all the existing points in the table. And then apply once one more time. Add and apply. Now you can see we have created two lanes. Now you can see how the lanes are appearing in the model. Right click, display. The two lanes are appearing in the model now. And next is vehicle selections. Go to standard. So if you record, I'm selecting apply and go to model 3 now. So we have defined two vehicles. Now it's a moving road cases now. Uh, what about the code if you are following? Suppose if you are following as per as the standard, you can select as the standard also. We have all the international standard inbuilt in the program. And moving road cases, go to add. Moving load, load model 1 and 3, multi, this is a load model 1, load model 3 for both the lanes, select and OK. It's, uh, this one is created now, now all the load cases are done now. Okay. Now the remaining is the Construction stage analysis, go to load, construction stage, define construction stage, add CS1, construction stage 1, I am giving the information, the duration of the day, 30 days, and this is the group we created in this table, construction stage, the individual load cases or information will not appear, here it will appear only the group, group name. Again, this box girder group, when you activate the group, what is the age of concrete? It is a 14 days. Then your creep, and calculate, creep, creep calculation will be happen for 14 days strength. And then boundary condition, I am selecting support by support and links from the original condition. Click add. And next is a self paint. It is activating at the first day. Apply. And then CS2, that's construction stage 2. And your SADL, you're applying at the last day. And your pre-stress, you're applying at the first day. Add and apply. And the third construction stage information for long-term loss, that is 10,000 days. And click OK. So we have three low cases and three construction stages. So this is the structure. So construction stage analysis is completed now. Now we can analyze the structure. Go to analysis, perform analysis. This is the shortcut. You can directly click here. Otherwise you can go to analysis and perform analysis. You can do that. Okay, the analysis is completed. Now go to result, load combination, concrete design. You can create the load combination by manually giving the name as well as you can add the load case names individually 
or otherwise we can select by auto generation as per the standard error code click ok ok and next is uh, seeing the result go to reactions values and legend this is the reaction forces and the deformation you can select the result for individual load cells or load combinations you can see the result for that This animation of the deformation contour due to the sulfide. Now go to forces, is the beam diagram. MY is the bending moment, this is the bending moment shape and values. And FZ is the shear force, this is the shear diagram. And MX is the torsion, this is the torsion diagram now. And then stresses, select beam stresses. And for any load cases, you can select from here. And from the reference picture, uh, 1 and 2 are the top stress, 3 and 4 are the bottom stress. And click apply, you are seeing the result over there. And also, you can see the result in the form of table. So, go to result table, beam, forces, select the load cases or load combination and click OK. Now, you can see the elements, load case name, axial force, shear force, torsion and moments. Again, this information you can right click, export to Excel sheet as, a, as well as you can make as a dynamic record table now. And then this analysis is completed now. Now we can see the design part. So the design part is, go to PSC design, select the code, select the parameters. Now we are seeing the code as well as the output parameters. I am selecting all the conditions for ultimate limit stress and uh, serviceability limit stress. Click OK. And then PSC material, this is the material we have defined earlier. Now I am selecting the rebar property for class B, main bar and sub bar, modify it. And then the design position, you can select all the members, program will take, but for time being you will select any one section so that your design time will be reduced. I am activating only one section. So for this section I want to design, I am selecting the member and click apply. Similarly for output position, for this section, apply and serviceability. Load cases, it will take automatically from the load combinations. I am checking the, the load combinations now. Serviceability condition and one step condition now. Okay, fine. This is for short term load cases. Now, and then we can directly do the perform design. The generator, now we can see the result design report. So this is taking a little more time. In the meantime, I will show how to extract the result for uh, 
report analysis report right click for anything you can just report uh, take the result in the form of pictures and color contours and graphs Bending moment. If I want to, if you want to keep this bending moment diagram in my uh, analysis report, I can just right click the dynamic report image. You can save the file. This is the report is generated. Now this is the conditions, the element number 2021 20, and item and JTRAN and this is the design report including formulas, code number and class number. This is the bending resistance, shear resistance, torsional resistance, stress at cross section and stress at your LCB load combinations for the principal stress and tendon stress. And this design support is a very uh, specific and it is very neat. It is similar to as we are submitting the report to the uh, client. Now you can see, if I give print document, now you can see this print document is similar to our actual de design report. You can see the formula and uh, code number and code, code class, everything is clear now. You can directly print it and submit it. This is our design report. Now how to generate the analysis report? Go to tools, dynamic report generator, new document, new document, the MS word is opening in this screen and in your tree menu the last option is a report here you are having all the results you can just drag and drop one by one here this will generate your report file analysis report just drag and drop and section property is box 1 So this is the analysis report which will looks like here and then save this file in the same folder and suddenly the report is generated we'll open the file Folder is this is the webinar folder and this is your analysis report. Yeah, this is the report what you are seeing. So once this report is generated and further information like the introduction about the product and your company name and other thing, other stuff, you can type it manually. This is your analysis report file. Okay, so we are we are getting analysis report file in Word format and design report file in Excel sheet. So this is the 
two main outputs from the software for the design purpose. Fine? Do you have any questions? Okay, no problem. If you have any any doubts or questions and further, I will send this uh, video for the reference. And if you having any doubts, any queries, you can write a mail to us. This is our mail ID. Take support at Midas it.com and my email there's a tech support id so we have a dedicated text technical support engineers to uh, send your solutions quickly and you can write to mail to me also mmdil at midasl.com and my name is Pinayagamuti This is my details and if you have any queries, you can directly type a mail to us. Okay, and thanks for joining and we will meet you soon in our next webinar. Thank you very much. See you again. Goodbye.